As he gets closer, it scatters and he realizes it was just a small horde of rats. What could cause them to swarm like that? Oh, garbage. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a trash pile! My first thing! I've been thinking about sewers a lot recently, which sounds really weird, but in my defense, I found a bunch of kittens in a sewer a few weeks ago and I've been fostering them, so sewers have just kind of been on my mind. Which reminded me that there are sewers in The Sims 4 that I never play with. The werewolf pack has a whole bunch of interesting little features, one of which being this sewer tunnel system that you can travel through. I don't really play with the werewolf pack all that often and it's probably been like a year since I last used werewolves. I guess I'm just not really all that interested in occult sims, but I am interested in sewers and these are the sewers that I'm talking about. So from what I remember about this, your sims can explore these underground tunnels and they can unlock passageways between the different ones and it gives you some pretty easy fast travel around the world in this area. But I think you can also find stuff in these tunnels. I'm pretty sure there's collectibles in there, and I assume those collectibles or like some sort of other thing in there is probably worth at least a little bit of money, so the plan today is to try to get rich quick in The Sims 4 using only sewers. So whenever I do these little mini challenges, I like to play with my weenie sim, Stanley Humphrey, but today things are a little bit different. Um, he's not quite the same as usual for a couple reasons. Number one, he's a werewolf today. And to make him a werewolf, I had to make a clone of Stanley and like try to get a new sim that is Stanley, but isn't quite Stanley. And basically, long story short, this he's not the same guy. <laughs> he looks a little bit different, so just don't look too closely at him. He'll hopefully be a wolf most of the time, so we won't notice. As per usual, we live on a big, giant, empty lot. We got zero simoleons, and I think I'm gonna be really nice to him and give him a little ceiling and make this into a tiny house, but that, unfortunately, is the best I can do for you, buddy. We don't really have a lot to work with here. I also don't normally do this with werewolves, so I feel like the needs situation is gonna be a little bit different. For example, I can buy this so I can territory mark and pee on the floor instead of having to buy a toilet. I can also get wolf nap so I can just sleep on the floor and personal grooming so I can lick away the dirt. But I think that the peeing and the napping is probably the most effective for me. We don't need to be clean. Like we don't need to shower. <laughs> We've got more pressing issues. This is actually one of the tunnels right here. So maybe I'll start in this one. The underground, one of the portal pods stalls has a graffitied arrow pointing down into a dark underground passageway. As Stanley descends, he finds himself deep below Moonwood Mill in what appears to be a series of tunnels. Where do they lead? That's a good question, actually. I'd love to know. <laughs> okay, diverging paths. As Stanley crawls under a particularly low stretch, he notices that the tunnel splits into three paths up ahead. From one path comes a faint but magical sounding melody. Down another, the lingering scent of garlic, and down the third, a welcoming bit of fresh air on the breeze. Let's try magical melody? I feel like fresh air is gonna take you out. Okay, an enchanted room. The enchanting music fades as Stanley comes to a large round room with an expansive relief carved into the wall. The artwork depicts a magical conflict between two sides with some favoring plasma and others who drew power from the moon. There's actually some lore in these tunnels about like the conflict between werewolves and vampires. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, one of the werewolves is calling me and offering me to go to the Star Wars pack, um, but I'm not doing that. I've got other plans today. Leaving the underground, Stanley can make out some light ahead. It must be an exit. Oh, nothing? <laughs> nothing? Really? Okay, I'm gonna try that again, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I picked the wrong options. Let's try the garlic this time. The scent of garlic leads down a twisting tunnel. Eventually, Stanley runs into a large metal box of some sort, but it's too dark to figure out what purpose it might have, or if there's a way to get inside. I got hurt? Oh no. Stanley seems to come to a dead end before noticing a small ledge off to the side. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but he manages to clamber up and find a set of three different tunnels. Okay, well, navigate the debris then, I guess? I've been doing this for hours and nothing has happened. <laughs> we have had no success. I kind of forgot that if I become a werewolf, is this a skill issue? <laughs> Even as a werewolf, Stanley is finding it difficult to navigate these tunnels at the moment. There are a lot of different smells and tracks and paths. He tries to shake off his doubts. These tunnels are well-traveled and the path he's on is sure to lead somewhere. Yeah, probably back to these portal potties. Oh, here we go. At the end of one of the tunnels is an old metal door that's been peeled open. The solid metal bends outward like a banana peel, as if something strong and determined forces its way out and ran off into the tunnel Stanley just came from.
from. Past the broken door is a single room coated in metal paneling. Judging by the gouges lining the walls, someone or something really didn't want to be in here. Oh my god, <laughs> he's out again. Okay, it's been all day, nothing has happened, my fun is low. I'm gonna try and fish. The fish are too difficult for me to catch, so I can't even fish to get my fun up. Oh, I got one. Okay, good, you can eat that. Do you wanna mark your territory over here? You kinda have to pee. Oh, that's, wow, okay, <laughs> yikes. Now he's scratching himself like a dog. Okay, I'm trying these tunnels next. It's evident that this sewer grate has been opened recently. There are multiple sets of muddy footprints leading Stanley onward. Okay, I got higher hopes about this one. It's the same thing. It's the same thing about magical melodies and debris. Okay, try the debris. Oh, someone else just came out of them. <laughs> Maybe I could try and befriend that person. Another one. Annoying drip, drip, drip. Drip. After listening to the dripping for a bit, Stanley now can't stop hearing the dripping sound. Plus, it's really making his bladder feel full. We just peed on the floor! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You know, now that I think about it, I'm beginning to believe it is a skill issue. I think what I need to do is get my fitness skill up, and then I need to try and get some more werewolf abilities so I can see in the tunnel. I had kind of forgotten how difficult these things were, because I had in my head that it would be easy to work through, but as it turns out, it's not. I guess I'll just stay here all day. Oh, no, no, go back, do it again. I'm trying to build the skill. I'm gonna end up having to use showers here. I can eat the fish too that I caught earlier. That worked pretty well. You, did you break the shower? Ew, is that the fish? <gasps> I forgot they just eat it like that. Why are you standing next to this poor sim and eating your fish? You're gonna scare them. Ew, ew. Well, my social's kind of low. <laughs> Maybe I could talk to them. Okay, well, <laughs> we are unfortunately having a bit of a moment right now. <laughs> this is probably for the best though. We're gonna have a little rampage. And I think if I can stop him from scaring anybody, we should be able to unlock transformation mastery. Otherwise we aren't able to do anything. Like I, I can't become a werewolf at will yet. And there's nobody here. So I guess there are worse things that could be happening. <laughs> is there anything you can destroy or collect? No, there's not. Well, if we can just spend the next three hours peeing on the ground repeatedly, I suppose that's fine. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to do for you, Stanley. This is horrible. Oh, we're a werewolf runt. I can get more things. With this, I can hunt for food, so I don't need to worry about buying anything. I want this night vision. That's what I need is night vision. Where did you go? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Well, we unlocked transformation mastery, and I also awoke naked at the top of a mountain, so that's really cool. Sleep under the moon. Oh my god. <laughs> This is so weird. It kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Why do you have to be running around naked like this? All right, well, I got myself some raw meat. This is so, I'm sorry, I, this is so gross. You really need to put some clothes on. It's unnatural for so many reasons. I'm so uncomfortable. Okay. Day two. I'm making him just hunt for food repeatedly until I can unlock some more points and abilities. I got that scavenge ground thing, which is so annoying because now I'm getting all this stuff from the ground and I still have nothing from the tunnels. Look, mooncaster pot shard, mysterious time capsule. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. I'm about to start rampaging. I'm still not able to unlock the ability to see in the dark. At least I've got all this meat that he can eat because that really does help. Oh, here we go. You know, the rampage is kind of for the best because I'm really close to getting my ability points now and I don't really care if he causes any problems. <laughs> I'm not that worried about it. Yay! Okay, tier three, night vision. Exploring the underground tunnels beneath Moonwood Mill can sometimes lead down to a dark dead end. With this ability, Stanley will be able to conquer them by seeing things he may have otherwise missed, as well as spend less time hunting for prey at night. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Okay, oh no. Oh, it looks like we're easily excitable and a night wolf that prefers to sleep during the day. You done rampaging? Okay, there we go, good job. Now that I have my night vision, I feel like I can actually give these another try. Still zero simoleons, by the way. Let's just point that out, um, still have nothing. <laughs> Okay, follow the magical melody. Stanley spies something on the ground just ahead. It seems to be moving? As he gets closer, it scatters and he realizes it was just a small horde of rats. What could cause them to swarm like that? Oh, garbage. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a trash pile! My first thing! We're back in that enchanted room again. Unexplainably, Stanley feels a twinge of fear. He looks around in the dark tunnel but can't see anything that may have caused that sensation. Still, it feels like someone is watching. Ooh. Yeah, it's us. <laughs> We're all watching. Okay, the tunnel is diverging. I'm gonna navigate the debris. I don't know how much fitness skill you need for this. I only have three. What is that? Is that meant to be a rat? Ew, look at how it looks. <laughs> it's horrible. That's like one of the worst 
rats I've ever seen! Stanley is making his way through a particularly tight corridor when he notices something give way underfoot. He bends down to check and discovers something! <gasps> a bug? A, a firefly? You stepped on a firefly and then you put it in your backpack? <sighs> Okay. Old braided garlic cloves dangle from the walls along the twisting tunnel. Eventually, Stanley comes across a large metal box with a barred door. He tests the bar and finds that it can be lifted with a bit of effort. Oh, go inside. Stanley pulls up on the bar and slips inside the box. It looks like some sort of old refuge chamber. There are beds, supplies, and some broken carved pieces of wood laying about. We found something of use before heading out. Oh my god, it's a moonwood wand and a valerian root. Okay, so this is like a special wand that actually does work if you've got all of magic, but it's just like a artifact if you don't because they're kind of trying to tie in storyline with the spellcasters and the vampires into this werewolf pack so that's pretty cool well so far we've made 167 simoleons but i don't want to sell them yet <laughs> not the same exit again oh my god i'm getting kind of lonely so i guess i'll come hang out with rory to fill my social need for a bit ah, challenge to you. tug of war i don't think you're gonna win buddy but you can try you want to become best friends okay that's fine ask to be friend of the wild fangs please oh well, that's good. And I can use their trailer. Like, I can wash up and use the restroom. Well, that works out really nicely. I need that because I don't have any facilities. <laughs> I need this because now I don't need to buy a shower myself. Maybe I'll contribute some of that stuff that I shouldn't be allowed to sell for my challenge to the pack resources. I'm getting close to level four of the fitness skill. I also just got the active trait, which kind of helps. What happens if I eat this spoiled raw meat? Oh, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. Well, maybe he doesn't care. I guess it's possible that he doesn't care because <laughs> I have a lot of raw meat and it's all spoiled. <laughs> a lonely howl echoes through the underground, bouncing off the tunnel walls in every direction. Howl back. After hearing the lone howl, Stanley boldly answers in kind. A howl echoes back a moment later and the two howlers, separated by distance but together in spirit, share a beautiful moment. Oh, did I, I didn't get anything from that. That was just like a, okay. <laughs> Okay. Though hunks of rotted beams and broken metal parts line the tunnel, Stanley is able to move around them with his ability to see in the dark. Eventually, he comes across a mountain of old logging tools and sawmill blades. This looks like most of the old Moonwood Mill. How did it get down here? We spy a lockbox trapped underneath a part of an old water wheel. It seems like it takes super sim strength to get to that thing. I'm gonna lift, try and lift it. I only have level four, but... Oh, I managed to lift it! We got it up and the lockbox is already open and it isn't empty. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was gonna be something good. It's an electronic upgrade part. Bubbles and a power sip midnight. Okay. <laughs> I really thought we were gonna get something good. I thought it was gonna be cool. It's bubbles. <sighs> Frog City! Somewhere ahead, the repetitive creak of metal echoes towards Stanley, followed by a slish slosh of water. As it repeats, Stanley begins to speculate that it might be a water pump. It's almost a proper frog city. They aren't just the common kind either. Someone's been breeding them. Oh! Ooh! Okay. I have an uncommon spotted eggplant frog worth 10 simoleons. And it's the same wheel thing again. Well, it didn't work that time? Okay, well, <laughs> it worked last time. I got bubbles. Oh, oh, look, I got off-brand soda and Wolfsbane. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, cool. This is worth no simoleons. Oh my god. This is so much worse than I thought it was going to be. How is this even possible? I think there's another one that I don't usually go into. Where is it? I swear there's another one somewhere. Oh, it's this. Here we go. I'm gonna try this one instead. This is the one that I always kind of forget about. Oh, here we go. It's the wheel again. I'll lift it. And my arms are jelly, so I can't. Cool. <laughs> really cool. I'm really, really starting to think that this is a complete waste of my time. <laughs> there is one other place that I haven't been into yet. At this bar, there's like a secret bunker in the back, which I haven't gone into yet. Is that... Is that Vlad? Oh, buddy, I don't think you want to be here right now. This actually seems kind of dangerous for you. <laughs> Share concerns about Greg. Discuss being a werewolf? Huh. Okay. Well, the reason that I came here is because I wanted to go down into this bunker because only werewolves can access this, which is real nice because we could just stay here if we wanted to, but there's also some underground tunnels in this building. So we'll step into the underground. Oh, I got a book! Dusk Glow 3? I'll look at that in a second. It's a play on the Twilight books, it looks like. Dusk Glow 3, Shadow Moon. 
by Bella Jacobs. <laughs> Darla is said to be wed to her bad boy vampire when a conflict erupts between the werewolves and the vampires. With her nice boy werewolf ready to join the fray, emotions erupt and one kiss changes it all. Oh wow. And once you get good enough at this, you can use this button to travel between them, but I haven't unlocked any of that yet. The book's worth 20 simoleons. <laughs> That's cool, right? I found something. Okay, more soda. No, it's canned water, not soda. And a mandrake. <laughs> I really thought there was gonna be stuff that was like worth money in here. I don't know why I thought that because clearly I was so wrong, but I, I thought there was gonna be like, I don't know, pricey relics. I've only got one. This is kind of nice, I guess, but I don't really want to sell the, the wand. Ooh, I got something. Raptor claw. Okay. Wolfsbane seeds and canned juice. What's with the soda? Open the seed packet of wolfsbane seeds. I got, I got two more. Okay, cool. Really, really cool. This is going so bad. <laughs> this is one of the worst rag switches I've done. Am I about to rampage? I didn't realize I was that close to it. I wasn't looking. <sighs> All right, have fun. Go for it, buddy. At least this stuff's not mine, so it's fine. Like, it could be worse. This is one bonus of our old house. There's, there's like nothing to break. Oh, I found a diary of Greg. Okay, let's take a little wolf nap now. Let's, let's calm down. You made it through the rampage. It's gonna be okay. Oh my goodness. I just got a Luna fish. Wait. Oh, it's only 31 simoleons. I got excited about that, but never mind. <laughs> False alarm. Heart surfer frog. Oh good, I could probably breed those now. I can't breed them. Are you joking? You, <laughs> what's the point in having them then? Why can't I breed them? Oh wow. Okay, we got juice and garlic that time. Besties, this is not, this is not going well. Yeah, I spent pretty much all day doing that. I got another trash pile, more juice, and a piece of garlic. Grow fruit, that's pretty pricey. Oh, here's something new, spoiled omelet. <laughs> Great, perfect. They're making fun of me now. Canned water and power sip midnight. Two useless things. Yummy scent, that's new, follow it. Are you serious? It just brought me back to where I was? The yummy scent just brought me back to the bar? Oh, I keep getting excited and there's nothing to be excited about. Old Mills lost treasure, blue steak and wolfsbane. Oh, here, do you wanna eat that? You can eat the blue steak, you're kinda hungry, aren't you? Well, that's a win. Oh, and it's ghost night, okay. I would absolutely love to know why so many vampires vampires hang out over here. Like genuinely, I, I would love to understand why. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I guess. This place is like the occult bar. This is a mermaid. We got ghosts, we got werewolves, they're everywhere. Okay, he's in a bad mood now because he wants to sleep. So I'll let you, I'll let you. Wolf Pits Essential Gaming Table? What's that? Money, 320 simoleons. That's our best find so far. Finally, <laughs> finally. <gasps> oh, wait. Did you see that? <gasps> I just found it. Oh my God, that's my first time that's happened. It quick traveled me. Oh, that was so cool. It's about time. <laughs> Wait, so now I have the ability to, no, okay, I'm still not familiar enough. Uh, how does it work then? You know what, whatever. <laughs> I don't care, I don't care. Oh, by the way, to make matters worse, tonight is gonna be a full moon. So we're gonna have the call of the beast later. Avelina's trusty telescope and a moon petal? <gasps> a rare flower that only blooms under the full moon originating from Moonwood Mill and the fancy telescope that's worth 1150 wait we have to go home maybe I'll wait till he gets out of the tunnel oh never mind <laughs> he's out of the tunnel now okay I just want to see the stuff I want to see the new things look at that I know it's only worth 50 simoleons but it's beautiful we also have this amazing telescope that is very expensive I got a games table I got a wand can I breed these frogs yet maybe you just can't breed the frogs from inside of the tunnel well there's a handful of frogs I have a fish I got this. I got two books. I got this. I have some trash. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of cans, like so many cans, a ridiculous number of cans that nobody needs. Oh, here's some more trash. Maybe I could blow some bubbles. This was like the first thing I got. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, oh, good. See, that was worth it. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he likes it. <laughs> How much are the seeds worth, 42? I've decided I'm gonna sell everything because I wanna find out how much money I have. The cans are worth zero. Oh, what was worth three? Oh, look at that, I got a little bit of money. I feel like these two things are worth keeping though because they're like kind of special collectibles. I'll sell the plants that I've got because I have no need for them. That's not bad. We have almost 2,000 simoleons. 
Oh great, he dug up some limestone. I can't even sell that. I've decided I'm not allowed to sell it. This is just cruel. I got canned water. Canned water and a six simoleon piece of wolfsbane. Leaving the underground. Wait, Stanley eventually reaches what seems to be the end of the tunnel. There he finds a ladder leading upward with light spilling into the tunnel from above. As he climbs, the echo of his feet on the ladder's rungs get louder and louder until Stanley emerges in a blue plastic box. Oh wait, it's a portal potty. <gasps> I did it. Look, look, I can travel between them now. Oh, it's about time. That's so cool. It took so much to finally find our first tunnel path. The beast is is also beckoning. We're having a dangerous amount of fury right now because of the moon. We are, in their words, losing our grip on humanity right now. Gold facial mask? Oh. Oh my god. It's just like a face mask that you can use. I thought it was gonna be worth something like a like a golden mask relic. I got so excited just that. It is worth a hundred simoleons, but no, it's it's just like the face mask from Spa Day. Okay, well, we're rampaging now because of the full moon, so that's really cool. No, 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 please don't break my things. Oh my god, I don't trust you. Call of the moon. Rut row. Stanley can feel the pull of the full moon. Ah woo. Okay. Again, luckily for me, I have nothing for him to break. So we just wait it out. A history of Moonwood Mill. See, I'm not supposed to- you're giving me things that I shouldn't have. This is a sewer challenge, not a dig in the ground challenge. I already did a dig in the ground challenge. I did that when the pack came out. How long does this last? The next three hours? It's like all night from the moon. Oh my. I got another ability point. Curse bearer. <gasps> I can turn other sims into a werewolf with my cursed bite. Oh, that seems like fun. Two? Four hours! It's literally all night! Oh my god, okay, we're finally almost done with this rampage. It's like 5 a.m. now, it's been all night. Oh, he went out to catch himself some meat. Well, that's cute. We made it through a full moon. I'm giving you like one last chance, Stanley. I would really, really love if we could make a tiny bit more money. I'm gonna sell this facial mask. Maybe I'll just sell the stuff that I found yesterday too, like the books. Oh, doesn't want to be sold. Oh, fossilized egg! Okay, tunnel path discovered. Oh, I got to the bunker. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad I gave him one more chance. I got a dance floor that time. It's like that cardboard dance floor. I don't really have any need for that, but that's okay. Oh, an apple pie. Good. Good. This is kind of starting to get cruel, so I am like this close to giving up on you, Stanley. We've made 2,000 simoleons, and let's just be clear that over half of this amount of money that we have is from that one telescope. And then I suppose if you sell these things, we've made like 2,500. So sewers are not really the best way to make money, I'm learning, but you don't really need money to be a werewolf. Like, I've been doing just fine without buying anything. Having the pack means I can use their stuff, they've got showers. But even before then, I can unlock the ability to like pee on the floor and sleep on the floor and groom myself. So you don't really need to have stuff to be a wolf. But like, you know, for your average sim, I I'd probably say that maybe you shouldn't pursue this sewer thing. It's um, yeah, it's kind of a giant waste of time, basically. <laughs> really, really, really interesting, huh? I mean, it was fun. I don't really play with werewolves that often, so this is been kind of a fun little detour for me. There's a lot of funny parts that I kind of forget about, like the hunting and the devouring meat. Oh, and I'm tier four. I've barely even tried. Tunneler? Quickly travel around the world by digging tunnels? I'm sorry, you're actually kidding right now. Tunnel here. <gasps> Wait, so if I, can I click anywhere and like, tunnel to it? <gasps> no way. No way. I can just tunnel to anywhere I want and he'll pop out of the ground. I have never seen that. <laughs> I really need to play with werewolves more often. What the heck? That's like a miracle. Oh, this completely changes everything. Oh, I bet you're all laughing at me. You probably knew about this. I don't play with this pack. You know I don't play with this pack. <laughs> How was I supposed to know about this? That's so cool. All right, well, you know, maybe the other tunnels aren't so useful. <laughs> the, the game ones, the sewer ones, not the best. This kind of tunnel, iconic, life-changing. Use this kind, forget the other one. Well, on that note, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. I have learned my lesson about useless werewolf features today, but the meme was worth it. The sewers were worth exploring. I'm glad we gave it a try, even if it wasn't, you know, the best thing that we could have done. I'm gonna link a couple videos on the end card about werewolves back from when I first played with the werewolf pack when it came out last year. I know I've done some other werewolf rags to riches. I just don't remember which ones. So if you want to see them, I'll link them here and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I'm actually so embarrassed that I didn't know about that perk. I've genuinely never seen that before. I tend to go more evil werewolf routes, like intimidating, biting people, that sort of thing. I wasn't really picking useful interactions.